like the footsteps of a Navy SEAL. What's going on guys? So I'm gonna do a quick review on the new Urban Holster that they just came out with. Uh, we've seen it, or you've probably seen the ads for it plenty of times where they have this new leather holster that uh, it, it has retention because it has little Kydex pieces on the inside. So it's the best of both worlds. It's a leather holster, the comfort of leather, and it also clicks in that trigger guard so it's very secure, supposedly. Now I've never had a problem with guns coming out of leather holsters and whatnot, but hey, whatever, I mean, I was looking for something outside the waistband, something for work, whenever I work outdoors, and something that, you know, is comfortable. You know, it, it gets annoying wearing inside the waistband holsters while you're working, bending over, doing whatnot, whatever you do. And on top of that, leather is just, it's, it's just very comfortable. So I was looking for something in leather, and also I wanted something with a little bit of a cant, and this one has a little bit of a cant, which makes it to where the, the, handle is not sticking straight out but at the same time you got to carry it a little bit back more so you can get a good grip on it and whatnot whenever you go to draw it some people wear their canted holsters at three o'clock which is stupid uh, you shouldn't do that because you're going to grip it like that to draw it's just not good so it's better to wear that canted holster if it's got that fbi cant to carry it backwards more to where it hugs in underneath your lap muscle right here and it conceals better and that way, whenever you're wearing something, your shirt will drape over with your lap, with your back, your lap muscle, and it'll cover right over the gun. That's the way it's intended to be carried whenever you have the FBI camp. Let's get right into this holster. I got this holster, and uh, I kept messing with it and messing with it, and I was having no luck. I, could, I was yanking on this thing as hard as I could, and I could not get the damn thing out of the holster whenever I had it on my belt. And I was like, this is ridiculous. I mean, does it need to be broken in or what? But it was the Kydex. Whenever you put it on and that leather pancakes and wraps around and pulls in, it doesn't matter how tight you have the retention or loose you have it. It just, you, you if you just grabbed it like that, you couldn't pull it out. You have to grab it like that and, and get your thumb over it, grab the sight and everything and just do a violent yank to get it out which I didn't like at all. So eventually what I ended up doing was taking out that rubber grommet where it, where it tightens up and whatnot. And now, now it actually uh, draws much better. And I still hear a little bit of a click, but, but it's, it's in there, it's not coming out. If you take a closer look at the holster, you'll see there's some things that I don't personally like. You'll see that inside that trigger guard, it's not, it's not fully covered. So there's a little space, but you know when the when the when the trigger's forward, I don't see something going in there, hooking the trigger and pulling it. So maybe that's not as big a deal as as I would think. Now another thing I don't like about it is this leather. I mean, it does make it more comfortable to where the sight's not you know cutting into your side and the serrations and whatnot. And so it, that's good, I guess. And they actually did shape it with it is shaped with the gun pretty well. Uh, but the thing about that I hate about this is whenever I carry at 3 or 4.30, I like to get a full firing grip. I don't do the claw grip. So when I, you get a full firing grip, you're going to grab onto that leather and it's going to make it harder to pull out. But I'm not having too much of a problem with this because they cut it pretty well. Uh, another thing is, is this is made for, this is model number 207, item number 207. I was talking to my buddy Southpaw Shooter. He bought one of these too. He also did a little review on his and but his is a for a Glock 19 I believe and this is a CZP 10C. So it's kind of a one size fits a lot of a different guns. So I don't like that too much, but whatever. The price of it $65 came out to like $75 for shipping and handling. Uh so it's a leather holster. They're usually around $50, $60 anyway. So the price wasn't horrible. The customer service, I'm going to tell you guys right now. The customer service was crap. Uh, they were supposed to have this shipped off by February 20th. I went and looked at my receipt, clicked on the item uh, number and whatnot, tried to track it. I, I got nothing. I exchanged like 10 emails from these guys just to be able to get uh, any information. After like 10 emails and, and they kept sending me these generic responses and asking was this article helpful and whatnot, I couldn't talk to an actual person. Finally, I just got pissed off and kept clicking no, 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 no. And they finally had the little live chat thing with me. And once that happened, they, they said, oh, well, it's through Amazon and blah, blah, blah. And it got lost through or they're having problems with their warehouses with Amazon. 
And I don't buy that crap. I think they're slacking because Amazon, anything I order from Amazon, even if it's free shipping that takes 10 days or whatever, I get it within three days. So uh, this one took me, I just got it in. It's been over two weeks before they even shipped it out, plus almost another week before I finally got it, about four days. So the customer service sucks. The shipping kind of sucks. They're they're kind of behind the curve. There are, you can see ads. They're asking if you're... If, if you're looking for a job, they're hiring. Is it? I mean, it's a mess. Then, on top of all that crap, if that's not bad enough, uh, you can't. They have no phone number to contact them, so you act, you can't actually call them and get a response. You just email them and get generic little automated responses for the most part. So it's it's pretty horrible. The customer service sucks. Um, the leather seems okay. It's reinforced right here, which I like. Uh, so that way, when you holster it, the leather isn't going to fold up and go on the trigger guard because it's pretty thick right here. Fits my thick Aries Aegis Enhanced gun belt, which is probably one of the thickest belts you're going to have. So the loops fit the, the gun belt. Um, it It's pretty, it, it, fits, it fits in pretty tight. I could probably put on a pretty tight fit shirt and it's, and it's like, you, you see, there is no space. Like it, it's, it sinks into you and it's not uncomfortable at all. So the, the butt of it, you can see every angle. It is not uncomfortable at all. It's very comfortable. And even though I took the retention out and it doesn't click whenever I have it off, whenever I, whenever I actually strap the belt down, it pulls that leather in that, that retention, you can hear, you can hear that click. So it still it still works with the retention even without this stupid little rubber grommet because it's pulling in really tight. Um, but it's comfortable. It seems very concealable. This is, uh, I believe, a tight shirt. Is it? Yeah, it's a medium shirt. I weigh 185 pounds, or actually 180. I've lost some weight lately because I haven't been eating. 180 pounds so that's a that's a that's like one of my tightest shirts i have and uh i'm not gonna lift my arms up because when i do it pulls the shirt away so with my arms down we'll see I, I i can't tell if it's printing or not but this is a tight shirt that's gray so gray prints really badly black you know covers up printing um if i were to reach for something the handle may stick out a little bit if i were to hunch over the handle may stick out. I don't know. Y'all can see better than me. But this is a large shirt. Throw this on. And it's actually black. I generally wear black because black conceals a lot better. But, I mean, if you can see that. I don't know. Can you see it there? I can't see. Y'all are going to be the, are the ones that are looking. So, um, I mean... I don't know. It feels, uh, I don't think it sticks out. You may not be able to tell I'm even wearing a gun. So, so anyways, I think that's a long enough review, right? I, I did a couple wardrobe changes, talked about everything I like and dislike about the gun. But like I said, this right here, if you do buy one, that's going to be your problem. Just go ahead and remove that screw and that grommet all together. The tension of the leather wrapping around your body when you pull it in tight with the belt is going to make those little Kydex claw pieces grab that trigger guard. I've drawn it quite a few times and there is no gouge marks or anything. But I recommend buying it. No, because of the customer service. No, because it's one size fits a lot. No, because it has that gap where you can, you know, I, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that lint and, and crap can get under there, under the trigger. So when you pull that trigger, if it gets real dirty, it, you may you may mess up your trigger to where it's, it gets froze up from dirt and lint and whatnot. So I don't like that. Uh, anyways, that's my way too long review so thanks for watching guys and y'all take care see y'all later